Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so here Chipotle claims you can order over 65,000 menu combinations. And I have many versions of this problem because I keep modifying the menu slightly uh, to come with something different. But the idea is that in all of these problems, you pick a certain amount of ingredients from each category and then multiply all those categories to find the total number of ways that you can find or, or create orders. And the idea is to use a fundamental counting principle. That's why we're multiplying them. Now, in some categories, it might be easier than others. So like, for example, category B, it says pick one or none. So it's white rice, brown rice, or none. That's three possibilities. Not so bad to count that one. For part C, it's pick one or none, black beans, pinto beans, or none. That's three possibilities. Part D says pick one or none. So fritas, carnitas, barbacoa, chicken, steak, veggie. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven for none. And then I'm going to go to up to eight, up to A, excuse me, because E's a little bit tougher. Here we've got to count, let's see, of salad, burrito, bo burrito, and burrito bowl. That's three. And then for tacos, we get one, two, or three tacos, but they all have to be soft or hard. So I'm thinking the most appropriate way to count that is to make a little tree. You can get one taco or two or three. And with the one, they have to all be hard or soft. The same with two and the same with three. So that's six possibilities, right? Three choices to begin with. And then for each of those three choices, there are two possibilities. They're either all hard or all soft. So that's six in total. So that's really tacos is six, burrito bowls is seven, burrito eight, salad nine. There are nine possibilities in the first category. Now E says, pick as many as you want of these 10 items and you can order double of any item. So now if it was just one of each item, that tells me there would be two choices for each. Guacamole, yes or no. Corn salsa, yes or no. Mild salsa, yes or no. And you say yes or no for each of these categories, and that's essentially 10 yes or no's. That's two to the 10th. Two choice, two choices 10 times. And it does take into account no toppings at all, because if you said no every time, that's no toppings. But here, it's not two choices each time. It's actually three, right? Because with guacamole, for example, let's go to guacamole, I even have a green pen, yay. For guacamole, I could say, yes, I do want guacamole. No, I don't want guacamole. Or, yes, I do want double guacamole. So it's no guacamole, yes guacamole, double guacamole. Corn salsa, same thing. No corn salsa, yes corn salsa, double corn salsa. There are three choices. And let me, I'll come back to this because there are other interpretations of E. At the end, let me explain why it's not... Uh, let's say uh, 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th or 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 9th or something like that. Um, in fact, let me show you right now. So why is it not? So another way of interpreting it, let's simplify the problem for a moment. Forget this. Let's, let's say there's three or let's say two ingredients, ingredient A and ingredient B. Now, if I was able to order, let's just look at the simple scenario. You know, in math, if you're stuck on something, make a simple problem for yourself. With these two ingredients, if I said you could order A or B or nothing, how many possibilities are there? Well, you can get A, you can get B, you can get A and B, right? You can get nothing. There's four possibilities. But then if I said, well, you can also get double of these toppings. You can get A, A, you can get B, B, right? What else could you get? You could get A, but double B. You could get double A and just a B and you could get double A's and double B's. So let's count that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see that for two ingredients, you see it here with two ingredients, you do get three squared, two choices, um, possibilities. So why is it not, as some people said, imagine this, Imagine there's like a board in a restaurant, and on the board, they say you can get a topping A, or you can get B, or you can get double A and then double B, right? Why does the yes-no counting technique not work here? And what I mean is, you look at the first, you say, do you want A? Yes or no, it's two possibilities. B, yes or no, it's two possibilities. Double A, no, yes or no, two possibilities, and double B, yes or no. So... Some people saw this as two to the fourth possibilities, which is 16. 
But you can see from this list here that it's not actually going to work. It's not actually going to count them. Why is that? It's because of the way that this 2 to the 4th double counts some things. It's saying that uh, when you say yes or no to A, that includes both, let's say, no toppings or just A. But then if I jump over to double A, think about this. It's saying no or yes to double ingredients. And what you see here is that you now have four possibilities when really that's only three, right? You can't say um, you can't say uh, yes, excuse me, to single. How how can I say this? You can't say yes to a double of an ingredient, but no to a single, right? You can't say I want double A, and not already include a single A. Those things are tied together, right? So this counting mechanism is incorrect because let's say A is cheese. How is it possible to say yes to double cheese, but no to single cheese? In order to get the double cheese, you also have to include the single cheese, right? It's, it's a layered topping, so it's a different kind of counting. So this method of saying yes or no only works when you have distinct ingredients that you're looking at. It's kind of an interesting problem. And I, and I think I'm saying that right. If you disagree or you think there's a better way to count that or show why one works or doesn't, please let me know, right? So in total now, how many combinations with these rules can we order? 9 times 3 times 3, 9 times 3 squared times 7 times 3 to the 10th. This will give us the total number. And I'm going to pull up my calculator. I can't do it on the screen right now. Sorry about that. 9 times 3 squared times 7 times 3 to the 10th. And there's quite a few here. So it's 3, 3, 4, 8, 0, 7, 8, 3, 33 million types of top of of orders that we can make far greater than 65,000. All right, thanks.